So now what we are going to do is we're going to start obviously with uh, the basics, intro to computers. Uh, we're going to be obviously learning something known as computer science, so it is a, a little bit of a benefit uh, that we kind of do that. And well, we start off with the big massive uh, definition here. What is a computer? Well, a computer is an electronic device that accepts information and instructions from the user, manipulates the information according to the instructions, displays the information in some way, and stores it for later use. Okay, what did any of that mean? Well, if we think about the computer for a second, every computer kind of does all of this stuff. It's accepting information. Uh, my computer right now is running PowerPoint. It's actually uh, running a web camera. It's running a open broadcast software, and this is just constantly accepting information, the pixels of my face, uh, the voice, my vocal patterns. Uh, what it's doing with this is it's now manipulating the information, manipulating the ones and zeros that it's seeing, and then storing it. It's actually displaying it, so I actually get to see a little bit of a feedback. I get to see that if I hit the left arrow, my slides go this way. If I hit the right arrow, my slides go this way. Uh, same kind of thing. If I pull out my Wacom tablet and I just kind of place my mouse over it or my pen over you see I have a red dot and I can start to uh, scribble as necessary and this is where that later use comes into play as well uh, I can move from that slide and as you can see it still stays uh, we've actually expanded uh, to a large number of different types of computers uh, we started once upon a time with the big massive uh, computers that took up entire rooms, floors in a building, and well, now we've reduced them down. As it got easier and easier to make computers, we slimmed them down, and that's actually kind of where the personal computer came in. Uh, I'm using a tower over here, and it's you know, it's a good chunk. It's about a two foot uh, by one foot uh, tower. It's kind of big. But that's where we started to shrink things down. We, we continue to make them smaller. There's a lot of airspace uh, on my personal computer. And so now all of a sudden we said, well, we can make this smaller. And that's where the laptop came in. And pretty much has taken over. Almost everyone uses laptops nowadays. Nobody uses the big clunky things anymore. Even so, you know, a lot of people now are using one of these guys. So now using one of these guys, what I mean that uh, some people are not even getting laptops. They're just staying with tablets and handhelds. Uh, your grandmother, your mom, your dad, uh, people who don't really need to be on the computer. They just want to you know, be able to get on Facebook. Well, that's all they need. Uh, it kind of does that information provide, uh, provision that they were looking for. But computers are starting to become everywhere. We're moving into something we call the Internet of Things. Uh, ATMs, uh, self-checkout lines at the grocery store kiosks. All of those are computers built for a sole purpose. We even have wearable technology nowadays where I can get a Fitbit or a Pebble or a smartwatch or I can uh, go to Under Armour and buy one of the little chest piece thingies that monitors my heart rate. We're starting to put them everywhere. And what's really actually cool is that we, we still have the big massive computers that take up entire rooms. You see, those are now called supercomputers. What we we're thinking about back in the 60s, you know, that, oh, it can do multiplication. That was the supercomputer of the time. Now we've kind of gone well beyond multiplication, and we're now getting into things like natural language processing, uh, things of that nature. Uh, it is kind of crazy to think about, but those supercomputers that are taking up rooms nowadays, well, in about 10, 20 years, that's actually what's going to be sitting on your desktop. 